Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, our biggest problem in this country that has really put us in a in a very sad state economically and in a very in all other situation, it is the manner in which Kenya Kwanda administration is governing this country. You check on the policies that they come out with. If you listen to their argument when they're talking on any matter, you just confirm that indeed we have clueless leaders who are in charge and the position of power and influence, but they are misguiding the country. They are failed in a very huge way. Anything they come out with, it, 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 it is just all about blunders. They are making accidents. With all this, it has reached a time when now senior officials in William Ruto's administration, in fact, a cabinet secretary, confirming that ODM has the best brain in Kenya when it comes to issue to do with the policy making, governance. And before this, we have seen William Ruto when he tries to respond to the argument from Kenya, from the Azimio side, he will always say that Azimio should come out and share their blueprint on eh, governance and other issues rather than eh, condemning the government. In that way, it confirms that he has failed. So he is seeking to use another person's blueprint to run the administration. So on Saturday, gender CS Aisha Juma was in Ibuse. And this is what he confirmed. In fact, he's the one who has just come out to say this. I was telling James Orengo that most ODM, most ODM supporters, especially from Nyanza and Busia, are the most learned being engineers, lawyers, and esteemed professionals. They are the ones who contribute to everything. If you ask them to create a policy, they do it very well. The most qualified doctors are engineers, are from Lua Nyanza, the region boast of all big brain in Kenya. And this is a really um, sincere statement from Aisha Juma. Imagine you are a cabinet member under Rodos administration, but you are confirming that the best brains when it comes to policy making, they come from ODM. So what is Aisha Juma telling us? And what is the truth in this statement? That's what we want to look deep into, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our returning subscribers, Master, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, the truth is that Aisha Juma amesema ukweli. If you check the policies that Kenya Kwanda have come out with, they have put us in a danger. We are in a mess. And they don't have any way out of this mess. Hawana njia ya kututua kwa ishida. Lakini wametuingiza kwa shida kubwa. Biggest reason, we are being led with clueless leaders. <laughs> we have heard the complaint in the National Assembly that when it comes to debating on uh, some bills in the parliament, the UDA and the Kenya Kwanza side have no any interest of debating. The only thing that they want the speaker to do is to put the question. So you will hear them asking the speaker to put up, put out the question, put on the, the question. The only thing they know to do is just to vote on the question without debating on these issues to see whether they can do amendment or if really the bill is good or not good for the country. When I'm here to speak, put out the question. Sasa Kaziaone is either nay or yes. 
You are supporting the bill or you are not supporting. Wanataka tu kupiga kura. Period. But when it comes to debating, we have the right brains in ODM. This is not far from the truth. The other time we were sharing a video here where o ODM Secretary General, who is also the Nairobi Senator Erin Sifuna, was debating with the legislatures from the UDA side. This was on Citizen TV. You can see the argument that Erin Sifuna brings out to counter the Kenya Kwanda side. You see wisdom. You see the reality. You see truth. You see concrete evidence. You would want to continue listening to Edwin Sifuna when he's challenging the Kenya Kwanda side. These are the brains that Aisha Juma is talking about. You listen to someone like Otienda Molo when he's arguing even on TV or in the National Assembly. You feel good. Otienda Amolo comes out uh, you know, with the with the argument that makes sense. You you see facts in what he's talking about. You see the reality. You enjoy listening to Otienda Molo because he speaks the truth and what is needed in this country. Sasa Shida Nikwamba, when he's arguing from the people while we talk about Kenya Kwanza side, the UDA side, they really become noisemakers and look so much embarrassed when they try to argue with Otienda Molo or differ with him. Then no one you can compare from the Kenya Kwanza side with someone like Otienda Molo. You can't do that. You listen to someone like Peter Kaluma. At one point was debating with someone from was it Kagembe or who from someone from Gatundu there, a member of parliament. You listen to the argument of that person with what Kaluma was trying to share out in terms of how the police have handled situation in this country. You see an idiot arguing with a wise man. So they they cannot he, Kaluma could not continue arguing with a fool. That's what he said. So he had to walk out. <laughs> that debate was no longer making sense at the end of the day. I don't know who continued to watch that show. In fact, most of the shows here, Kama Hauna, Mutu wa Kenya, Mutu wa, 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 wa Azmio, there is no show. It does not make sense. Haina Lada. Because these other people, they come just to sing. They are a choir master. They are singing the choir. Following the choir master's guidelines. You listen to someone like Ledema Olekina when he's on a TV show or a radio. You hear a man debating serious issues that make sense. You see a man who can give direction. A man who comes out uh, with the policies that you think kama serikali inadhatilia manani mambo kama haya. Simple facts. So you see wisdom in his argument. You talk about mini gesa gesa. <laughs> when you listen to her argument in the National Assembly she even pins down the, the, the majority leader, Kimani Chungwa. You, you, you know, you want to continue listening to Mili or Diambo. She speaks wisdom. She speaks to our lives. Her argument makes sense. Aisha Juma was right. She just said the truth. We have the senator from Homa Bay. Is it Homa Bay? Kajuang. If you listen to his uh, argument when he's on debate in the Senate or on TV, that man speaks reality to power. That man speaks about the thing that really the government needs to put uh, much uh, focus on 
simple thing that the government can just learn from and you know just implement those policies and we will be somewhere their argument makes sense in our ears lakini hao wengine ni kelele tup they don't come out with anything that can change our lives instead of just you know the only thing they can do better is to support anything that Ruto is standing for that Ruto want to hear that Ruto you know whatever make Ruto happy is what they want to speak about it is fear in them it is also ignorance they look illiterate because they don't speak their mind if they speak their mind again those who try you see clueless people without any experience in any way so we have wrong leaders in the position of power and influence and right leaders are out the only thing to change this and make kenya great again is when you have this great people from odm party in a position of power and influence people who can bring out policies that can make sense and breathe life in our economy and in our situation hiyo ni ukweli mtupu so aisha jumwa ameambia roto ukweli akitaka mfute akitaka mshafalo huo ndio ukweli wa mambo i don't know your views but let us meet in the comment section to continue with this discussion thank you and see you in our next video